The probiotics used in, in pediatric gastroenterology, in particular in the infection of the gastrointestinal tract, are one of the most important applications for the probiotics at the worldwide level, in particular in the pediatric field. Why this? Because the, the probiotics, uh, first of all, are able to exert powerful effect, a powerful mechanism of action against infection in terms of uh, protection against the, the, the attraction of, of, the, of the virus, of the bacteria on, on, on the gut lumen level, and in terms of stimulation on uh, several immune and non-immune mechanism of action, including the intestinal permeability, the cell growth and differentiation, um, uh, the enzymatic activity at the brush border level, and uh, also the mucus uh, thickness and the immune system uh, uh, regarding the innate immunity and acquired immunity comportment. In particular, the effect on, the, on innate immunity and acquired immunity comportments are, are really important because you can drive uh, a large number of defense mechanisms, but at the same time, you can drive a shape on, gas, on gut microbiota composition and function. In other words, you can select using probiotics uh, the, uh, a huge number of good bacteria able to exert a powerful and positive effect for, for the health of the babies at the same time. The use of probiotics against gastrointestinal infection are well recognized and they are included now in the most important guideline provided by many scientific international societies in the pediatric field. And now we know exactly which are the most important, the most active uh, probiotic strain to treat a child affected by gastrointestinal infection. First of all, acute gastroenteritis. We know, for example, that the Lactobacillus rhamnosus or Lactobacillus reuteri or Saccharomyces boulardii at a particular dose in a, in a, for five days are able to efficiently treat the duration and the severity and the pathogen excretion in the, in, the, in the stools of this baby when used in a, this dose to treat a child affected by acute gastroenteritis. And this has been clearly demonstrated in many studies around the world, in, not only in Europe, but also in the United States, Asia, and other parts of the world. So it is, it is sure that the use of these bacteria are able to have a positive effect in terms of disease severity and duration, and uh, many mechanisms of action are involved in this positive effect. Regarding the prevention of, of gastrointestinal infection, regarding the, the prevention of nosocomial infection, we know that these bacteria, exactly the same, Lactobacillus rhamnosus, Lactobacillus reuteri, and Saccharomyces boulardii, they're able to prevent infections. Infection not only at gastrointestinal level, but also also at respiratory tract level. And uh, this could be important to prevent nosocomial infection. This could be important to prevent infection in children attending daycare centers. And uh, the dose are, are exactly the same. Of, of course, the duration of the treatment depends on the duration of the hospitalization of this child, of duration of depending on the duration of the school attending time. Also in this case, we know exactly which are the mechanism of action, which are the dose. So it's time to use this compound, this probiotic, this product in the right manner starting from the evidence of, of uh, the scientific activity, starting from what has uh, indicated by the most recent guideline in the field.